Well, the push to repeal Maryland, My Maryland, as our state song continues. And WJZ is live downtown right now. Paul Gessler has on why state leaders are trying again to repeal the song's designation. Paul. Denise Nicole, the state song was written in 1861 by a Baltimore native and Confederate sympathizer when, at the start of the Civil War, Union troops were marching along Pratt Street here and they were attacked by a pro-Confederate mob. It would not officially become the state song until 1939. We'll start this story by playing the end of the state song. She is not dead, nor deaf, nor dumb. Huzzah, she spurns the northern scum. It is a song of hate. State lawmakers want to repeal Maryland My Maryland as the official song. This is not a new issue, nor is it complicated. Montgomery County Senator Cheryl Kagan says it's past time, but especially relevant now. We must repeal Maryland's offensive Confederate themed state song. The song starts referring to a despot who historians say is reference to President Lincoln. The University of Maryland marching band now refuses to play the song, and last year the Maryland Jockey Club stopped playing it at the Preakness. Resist the temptation to obliterate more of Maryland's historical past. Some who oppose the repeal acknowledge it is offensive, but Delegate Kathy Schlega likened it to cancel culture. State archivists, past and present, testified Thursday in favor of its repeal. They enshrine a world in which slavery was considered righteous. Their lyrics are offensive. They are racist. They are a call to arms against our own country. They do not reflect who we are or what we aspire to be. Back live downtown now. Similar bills were introduced four of the last five legislative sessions in Annapolis, but failed. Governor Hogan has previously pushed back on efforts to change the state song, but requests for comment today from his office went unanswered. Reporting live at 5 downtown tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.